Right, Peter Kieser, we are looking at this beautiful female in the paddock here. Tell me, tell me who we're looking at. Uh, NCC Dianka 3602. And you had your checkbook out on the day that um, you purchased her? Yeah, we did. Um, between me and four other mates, uh, we paid 45000 for this so red cow. <laughs> you, you make it sound so simple. This paid 45000 for the red cow. What, um, what stood out to you? So when you're looking at her, what stood out to you that, that you had to have her? Uh, probably having around Bramwick, um, obviously on the beers with a, with a couple of mates. And we saw a picture of this heifer um, in the, on the online catalogue as it was at the time. And we looked up a pedigree. I'd, I've done a bit of work down at NCC, did a couple of bull sales uh, down there. And so I knew the cow line, both cow lines fairly well. And, and both on the dam side and the sire side. Um, they probably represent the two best red cows that came out of um, Africa that um, Nobsy carved out over here as embryos. So that was, that was fairly appealing to us. The cow looked for goods and, and then yeah, when we, um, we had half an idea and then we got there on the sale day and thought yeah, we should, um, should not miss the opportunity to purchase this cow. And we're, she's standing here with a beautiful daughter. Uh, are you happy with the, the first progeny that you've, you've received? Yeah, so we've, we've owned the um, IVF bird as sort of poly bulls and, and bred her with poly bulls. Um, so the calf here, my brother actually owns. He was one of the one of the five involved with his. This, and this was the first cow that he sort of he he hooked into. Um, this cow's by uh, uh, Urline Manziel. He was a thirty-eight thousand dollar sire that Campbell Lawson Lawson and Bill Campbell ordered um, at Big Country one year. Uh, it was doing a very good job, and we thought we'd have to have to give her a bit burl and they're very very excited with the um, the progeny that um, that they've produced. There's another three sisters that we'll put in an online auction in, in October. Um, that'll go up uh, full sisters to this to this effort. Now I'm I'm assuming that most listeners to uh, our podcast know their way around um, the sale yards and and a Brahmin cow. But if you're just picture yourself in uh, in the show ring at, at Beef Australia. Talk us through what what were you looking for? What are the traits on um, on this cow that you would be watchful? Of? Yeah, she catches your eye. Obviously, as she she pokes around, she's a big, beautiful outlook cow. She's got that lovely U neck, that lovely feminine U neck that she that um, I do like to see in our females. I also have a heavy selection on length and bone, and she's got plenty of both. Um, she's got great udder attachment and a, a very good udder and underline. So we're ticking a few boxes there. You get in behind her very full in behind the hump, very a uh, lot of beef in the cow and I think just the overall feminine look about her but the powerhouse of, um, of carcass in her is sort of where we've um, where we've got to on it. She's got a, a very feminine cow with a, with a lovely big muzzle, long long flowing tail which I like to see in our Brahmin cows. It gives us that, that uh, purity I believe in our cows. Um, I think yeah, she's an outstanding female going forward, um, her progeny are, are standing the test of time, uh, the way they're going, there's, a, there's an awesome uh, grey poly bull calf that we just weaned off her, he's about 8 months old on North Queensland and he weaned at 360 kilos, he's, um, he's got the beef about him but I hope that um, we can get a fertility traits that, that come through him as well.